Well, it's a little breezy out today. Hopefully it doesn't come through too much. This is supposed to be a noise canceling microphone anyway. So here it goes. I wanted to do this a little bit later after I got buffed up for my trip. If you remember from the other day, I said we we're going to go see Marshall Silver's Turning Point in Vegas this weekend. And we got a few hours before we fly. And I was reading a piece by Bruce Barton. Now, if you don't know who Bruce Barton was, he was one of the best ad men that ever lived. Uh, absolutely fantastic writer. And his stamp is on a lot of famous copywriters, even some that probably don't know it. A um, guy named Robert Collier, who did the Robert Collier letter book, and also wrote several books besides that on motivation and stuff. He actually worked with Bruce Barton way, way back. Anyway, I'll read anything by Bruce Barton just because it'll teach you how to write better. And I, I first learned about him in a book called The Seven Lost Secrets of Success. It was written by Joe Vitale. And I heard about that from a guy named Ben Settle who is one of the premier email trainers that there is. I He's not for everybody. I love his stuff. So anyway, if you're looking for a, a good guy to learn some stuff about email and other good things, check out Ben Settle. But anyway, this piece I was reading by Barton was talking about everybody's got something. And he gave a couple of quotes about how awful life was and how people would never get along and everything. And they were quotes by two famous people. And he said, look, these guys, you would think had everything going for them. And they, here they are writing these, these things that, that sound like someone, you just never, never gonna amount to anything. They're such a loser, right? And the first one was by Abraham Lincoln. And the second quote happened to be by Napoleon. And actually, I say quotes, it's, it's probably not something that later on in their life, once they got their stuff together, they wanted anybody to even see or hear. But there it is. It just goes to show you that no matter who you are, you're going to have challenges. And no matter how easy it looks for someone else, they've got their own thing going on that you're never going to know about. It's not, it's not all like they put out on Facebook greatest things in their lives and you know nothing ever goes wrong the truth is that everyone has their challenges and they're gonna have to deal with them at one time or another so when you're looking to make yourself better and improve yourself so that you can get further along in your business always remember that no matter what it is you got to face it's likely someone else has already faced it in one or hell, you might even be first and you can show everybody else how to do it. There's no sense of getting down just because you got an obstacle. Because I'm here to tell you, <laughs> being in business and trying to make your own way is not going to solve all your problems. What it will do is introduce you to so many new problems you never even knew you had. And I'm talking about just the way you are on a daily basis and how you could be better. I guess that's the... The ancillary benefit of being in business is you must become a better person in order to succeed. So work on that. I'm going to go ahead and do a few things before I get ready to get on my flight. I hope you're having a fantastic day. It's beautiful here in Reno. Sparks. And that's all I got for right now. The dog's next door letting everybody know how they feel about the siren going on in the background. <laughs> the joys of doing things unscripted. All right, that's what I got for today. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm out.